Virgos. Hey, my lovies. Welcome back to another quick read. This is going to be a quick read for you today. Let's tap into this energy that's surrounding you, loves. I am getting the feeling that there is somebody that wants to talk to you. There's somebody that has been hiding in the shadows that has not been communicating with you. I feel like you're not interested in this person. Yeah, so they still want to continue something with you. I want to see more about this energy. Let's see if there's something you need to be aware of or something you need to um, know about this person. Um, I feel like a lot of secrets and deceptions have been kept here. And I feel like the secret is that they have been thinking about you nonstop, but they're not saying anything. I feel like they're trying to avoid these feelings. Maybe ignore something here. Let's find out. Spirit, thank you so much for being here with me and my Virgos. Show me clear messages, holy angels, ancestors, and guides. What does Virgo need to know about the surrounding energy, please? Yes, the moon. Hidden secrets. I feel like somebody is also in a dark night of the soul type energy, Virgo. And I feel like that may be why you're not interested in this person. Somebody showed you a side of them that just was not pleasing to you. I feel like this freaked you out and you just didn't want anything to do with this person after that. But let's go ahead and find out. Somebody here just won't take no for an answer. They want you to make a decision to possibly come toward them. They're also thinking about making a decision to let you know how they really feel. Spirit show Virgo what they need to see about the surrounding energy. That moon card was trying to come back out. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Yes, your third eye is sharp right now. Your intuition is on fire. You can see right through this person. And everything that you see is telling you to stay away from this person. You really don't want anything to do with them. We have avoidance here and a stalemate. So yes, you guys are aware of each other. You could be around each other or maybe you see this person in passing or anything like that. But you are ignoring this person, avoiding this person at all costs. You don't want anything to do with this person. Okay, show me more for the Virgo. We have Ace of Water in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like this is how you feel and you don't have any feelings toward this person. I feel like whatever feelings you could have felt or maybe you like this person or this person liked you. Maybe it's in the reverse because this person is a manipulator. Try to play on your emotions and take advantage of the moment. This person says whatever to get what they want and you pick up on this energy. I feel like this is one of the huge red flags that send you packing the other way okay yeah i feel like that's what this is this person is emotionally manipulative and you're a very kind-hearted soul so you don't want to be bothered with that i feel like this storm something happened here and this person wants to mend it i feel like whatever argument there was between you and this person um this storm card talks about upheaval arguments fights something that brings division and i feel like this happened and with it coming out in the reverse this person doesn't want it to be over between you this person could want to resolve whatever that was that happened between you and them okay um, underneath the bottom of the deck, we have toxicity here. So I feel like this person has a lot of toxic habits and traits that are very unappealing to you. Like, they're, it's unattractive. You don't like that, okay? This person could be thinking about starting a family with you. Or this person could um, have a family already. But um, you're not interested in this person, Virgo. And they're um, not understanding that they need to just leave you alone. Yeah, we just have detached and cold. So I feel like you're very cold and detached from them. Um, I feel like when you did speak to this person or when you were trying to show this person a light-hearted side of you, I feel like this person was very detached and cold. Um, this person was like not really showing you much. And I feel like this caused you to pick up on that energy and reciprocate. Okay, reciprocating the energy here. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what else Spirit wants to tell you about this person. Um... Let's move forward. Spirit, show Virgo what else they need to know about this energy. Why is my Virgo so resistant to this person? What's going on here? What does this person want from Virgo? What does this person want from my Virgo? 
communication so this person wants you to communicate with them this person wants forgiveness for whatever they did to bring that tower moment they want compromise and they want to work things out with you <laughs> virgo i feel like you intuitively you already know that i feel like you have clarity um about this person and you use your intuition to read them that's why you don't want anything to do with them your guardian angel or lost loved one is watching over you because i feel like something is dangerous about this person i feel like this person is also um has a very threatening attitude or demeanor or something like that is not right with this person so your guardian angel is watching over you all right for protection all right and they will intervene if they have to you're protected and you always have been okay um, yeah, so you're avoiding this person and you also could get extra downloads to let you know just stay away from them It's just some reason. It's just sharp. Stay away from them. Right and you follow that show me ace of water Feel like it's not gonna end well if you don't stay away from them. I thought I felt one of the cards turn over One of the cards did jump. I don't know which one it was. Let's see ace of water in the reverse walking in the reverse spirit why well, is the ace of water in reverse? Yes, caution. It says find out more information. Don't overwork yourself also. But um, I feel like with this health card, there's something hidden about this person that they're not telling you. Um, and I feel like intuitively you felt that. Something going on with their health or something of that nature. And you're not really... Yeah, you're not really trying to get any closer to this person. This person could also overwork themselves. All right, Virgo, if this is for you and you feel like you've been overworking, make sure you take a break. Unexpected storm in the reverse. This person, this person doesn't want it to be over. All right, water sign. It could be having to do with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or um, this water sign energy. This person is could be seeing you as kind-hearted loving um nurturing and then give it time everything in divine timing let things flow naturally so there's no need for you to go toward this person there's no need for you to say anything you should just follow your intuition um sexuality also somebody is still figuring themselves out so i feel like this person could struggle with their sexuality um show me toxic patterns So I feel like this person could want to take you out on some type of honeymoon. This person wants to do something with you. It says um, honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Um, maybe this person um, needs a date to a wedding or anything like that. I feel like this person wants to take you on a trip or something. No, they want you to go out with them, maybe travel with them. They want to take you on a date. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but it's not the right time to do anything with this person or go toward this person. And I feel like you already know that. Yeah, this person has some type of toxic ties. Um, detached and cold when it comes to a commitment with this person. Things are getting serious. So I feel like you're detached and cold. Um, and you're using your intuition to see through this person. And you're moving on from these challenges that this person has. Make a decision, work on inner healing. I feel like this person needs to heal themselves. So you're moving on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. This is what you're trying to get this person to understand. Um, there will be no commitment here. You're not interested at all. Okay, I see that here. Yep. And luck is on your side too. So don't worry. You're covered. You're guided. You're um, protected. So don't worry about this, okay? Let's put these cards to the side and go ahead and pull some tarot on this. Oh, so these cards fell on the floor. Let me show you, Virgo. Wow. All right, so we have three cards, the Sun card in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Cups in the upright. So, basically, this is telling me that this person is unhappy without you. Um, this person, look at this. This person is not happy. This person is unhappy without you. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They want to apologize. They want to make amends. They want you to hear them out. And you just don't want to. Show me Virgo's energy toward this person. Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. And in reverse, this person is not feeling good. This person is confused. 
Let's see, this could be another, um, this could be a water sign, a fire sign, or earth sign. Show me more energy, please, for this person. How does Virgo feel toward this person? So, all right, so it's still telling me this person's energy, Virgo. This is not your energy. This is basically this person's energy seeing you as wish fulfillment, wanting to move towards you. They may see you in passing and they feel like you look good. They really, really like you. This could be another Virgo or a Taurus, all right? Um, but I do feel like that. This could also be a fire sign. But I feel like they want you. I feel like they, they are wishing for you. They're trying to manifest you. They're being strong. They feel like they have all the tools that they need to bring you in. This could be another Virgo also. But they are, um, you see this person as a manipulator and you're guarded. This is you. You're looking at this person like, can you stay away from me? Like, don't talk to me. Don't look over here. It could be a neighbor or somebody that you work with. Okay, but you are like, um, no, like, please. Okay, yeah, you're guarded. This, you feel like this person is very toxic. They have a lot of toxic habits that you just don't care for. The emperor, this person could be stuck in a marriage. All right, this could be an Aries, all right, or an older gentleman, or this could be a boss, a leader. I feel like this is a person that is married. And they are waiting for a chance with you. They're waiting for an opportunity. They are waiting, waiting, waiting. I feel like this person has been trying to convince you to talk to them. They've been trying to move towards you. I feel like they may have seen you and moved towards you with this eight of wands. This is online. This is fast action. This is movement. All right. And a lot of times when I see the eight of wands, it means like in the community or walking somewhere or in a store or somewhere in person. All right. And it also could be messages online, but this is up close and personal for me with all these wands here. Um, and a lot of times I've seen it that way. So, yeah, I feel like this person tried to come towards you and apologize. And I feel like you did not like that. How did Virgo feel when this person came toward them? You, <laughs> this person apologized. You're like, I'm sorry. I don't want to. Virgo, you just didn't want to. You use your intuition. You're like, I'm sorry. This could be this person feeling betrayed because they're trying to apologize they want to heal things or they're sorry for betraying you i feel like this is you like like this person came up to you or something like that i don't know it's some kind of communication between you and this person and i feel like this person was disrespectful they want to apologize with these 10 swords in your back i feel like this was in your face this person was talking or doing something and they mistreated you whatever it was it was it was like the ultimate you were not dealing with them anymore after that i feel like it was communication and this person wants to apologize for the things they said ten of swords yeah here's here's virgo it's another virgo this could be two single virgos here's a queen of pentacles and another virgo here you could be single yeah, and you're like, no, with this single card, with the nine of pentacles, you're abundant, you're self-sufficient, and you don't need anybody. You don't want this person. You want this person to stay away from you. Look, you're staying single until you find your soulmate. This person could be looking at you like a soulmate. Tower. And secrets. Yeah, I feel like this person kept secrets. They betrayed you with their lies. This is another Taurus Capricorn Virgo that wants to come towards you, trying to offer you something. They want you to work together with them. Look, they want a passionate beginning with you, and they want to apologize. They want to bring you something. They want to offer you something. All right, also good news here. I feel like this person wants to make a peace offering with this Page of Pentacles energy. They want to start over. Not only that, look at this. Ten of Pentacles? And the Ace of Swords. So this person wants to talk to you. They're thinking about you so much. They want to be in a relationship. They're like willing to offer you a relationship. This is crazy. Look, they want to work together. They want a relationship. They want. So I feel like now this person maybe is trying to tell you that they're ready for a relationship. 
feel like you're burdened by this person, you just want them to leave you alone, look, the end. You're like, no, you cut this off. You cut them off. You're like, no, this person is offering you money. They're offering you sex. They're offering you <laughs> the ability to work together. They're promising to work toward this and master this connection, get to know you better and build. They want to build with you. Wow. They're trying to tell you that they're stable and secure and you can rely on them. Virgo, that is deep. And they thinking about you nonstop. They they keep thinking about this new beginning with you. But you don't want this person at all. Show me. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about this connection. Because you're like, oh, no. I do not want this person. You just see this person as toxic. You don't like the way they live or the way they move or their bad habits or something. Here they could have addictions. Spirit, show Virgo what the advice is with this person. Denial. Somebody's in denial here. Release. Marriage. The attraction chemistry. So I feel like you guys were getting along well at one point in time and it was a mutual feeling. But I feel like now you just don't want it. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Detached with love to clearly see the truth. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. I feel like not this relationship, but I feel like marriage is here because this person is married. Okay? For some of you, you could be in a situation that's moving toward a sacred union, but everything I'm getting here is telling me that you don't want to deal with this person. They want to apologize. They don't want to be left alone, but you don't want to deal with them. And it's like they either are sick or constantly thinking about this situation. But we got the caution card, so I feel like there's something this person is hiding. And I feel like that's why your angels are here. Like your guides, your spiritual guides are around you because your guardian angel, because dealing with this person is risky. I feel like something is wrong here. All right. Something is very wrong here. Okay. But yeah, obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Yeah. Lean on your inner circle at this time. Yeah. So, wow. For some of you, I mean, if this person is a Virgo or if this is you feeling this way about this person, you feel like this person is your true love, all right? And for my Virgos who are rejecting this person, you just don't want anything to do with them. And you're trying to do everything to show them, like, leave me alone. Don't call me. Don't say anything to me. You're leaving their calls on red, the messages on red. You're not even responding. All right? This is what I got here. Okay, something told me to do this reading, Virgo, and that is what I got. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to post this on our regular channel or the new channel, but I'm definitely about to post this. All right, I love you guys. If you want to get a personal reading, email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. I just saw a fraud that made a email address just like mine, except for the number one. So don't forget the number one. I write closer to my destiny one and you'll see my picture. All right, loveys, I love you so much. I will talk to you sooner than later. Bye.